Uh, today, I have with me Stacy Robbins coming from Seal Beach, California, which is ironically kind of just down the street from me. Hello, Dave. How are you doing? Do you like the trash trucks coming by in the back alley? Is that is that perfect timing? Good. Well, well, we'll welcome to the beach. <laughs> we're an airplane taking off. Stacy lives um, in Seal Beach on an awesome loft area. Um, I won't give out the address, you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, I'll start cooking for all the people who are going to show up. I gave you the beautiful view that the uh, you get the wine in the bucket on top and all the refrigerator art and the dirty kitchen counter. It's just real life over here, Dave. I love it. I love it. And I love those kitchen cabinets. Those kitchen cabinets are really cool. They're super groovy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, I am excited that you're going to be joining us at Inspiration Rising Live, the very first live podcast experience that we're doing and it's on thursday september 12th if people have not heard about it they can go to insporising.com slash live and the whole evening is a night to feature the wisdom of four powerful female leaders and you're one of them Woohoo! i'm so honored to be there thank you yeah. I can't what uh, what do you as we've talked about this evening and what it's going to be all about what are you excited about you know, I, well, first of all, you're a fabulous interviewer. I just love any time we get, whether it's on the phone during the week for our regular fun calls and business connection calls, or it's, you know, on your podcast. I just love the interaction with you. There's a great playfulness and depth and you're so present and you ask great questions from kind of that side, you know, like um, unconventional angle, which, you know, I appreciate especially. So I love that because it's really a fun interaction. And then I love the women who you have there. Like, I'm excited to listen to Andrea and Cam and Bita because they're fabulous and, and brilliant. And so I'm like, wow, what a, what a great collage of women that I get to be part of who are going to share their inspiration. So, like, those are the known things. Like, I know that that's going to be there, that I'm, we're going to have fun with you. I know that you, you make great events. I know that the women are going to share inspiration. But I think that there's this other, there's this other stuff that happens when you, when you go to an evening like this. I think that we break out of our ruts and rhythms, you know, and instead of spending the evening with Ben and Jerry and binging on Netflix, you know, we – we break that cycle and we commit to like getting out of our pajamas and into our pretty clothes and comfortable clothes and just going and being out and about. And I think that's really good for a lot of us who get stuck in our ruts and rhythms. Um, I think that we reconnect to our soul, like going out to something like this reminds me of when I had, you know, uh, left professional music for a while and I was so busy, you know, doing work, 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 work. And somebody invited me to a musical and I was like, Oh yeah, no, I'm kind of like still detoxing from my music career, you know? And, uh, but I went and what happened was I went and then all these songs came to life inside of me and it like reawakened a part of me and healed a part of me that was, you know, like, that was so exciting. So I think it reconnects us to our soul to be out in an evening of inspiration. And then I think probably the third thing that I am looking forward to is that it, there's untold magic. There's the unexpected, like what happens when we risk, which I talk about in my podcast with you, but when we risk adventure and we go outside of our comfort zone and we go into the soul inspiration, like I'm going to commit to my, to my soul right now. I'm going to commit to feeding me and my, my beauty and my heart right now. And there's all this magic that happens in meeting other women and, and hearing great stories and, and feeling more alive. So I just think there's all of that that's available to all of us. So I'm excited for all of that because I'm a girl too. And like, I'm a girlfriend. I need that too, you know? So I can get into my work mode and my rest and my rhythms. And so I'm excited too. Yeah. It seems like that there are very few times when we set aside a, I would even call it a sacred space. You know, I'm wanting it to be a sacred space for people where it's an opportunity to connect with other people who are like-minded and also just draw upon the wisdom of um, people that have been through some extraordinary experiences. Um, one of the things that we're going to be talking about on that evening is how to live an unconventional life or how you've lived an unconventional life. Uh, take a minute and just maybe give us an overview. What are what are we going to expect from Stacy Robbins that evening? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we're gonna, 
we're going to have, um, you know, I go through very relatable things, you know, like whether it's marriage bumps or financial challenges or parenting, you know, issues or whatever it is, or weight or health things, you know, that come up in your life. Like I go through very relatable things, but I handle them in very unconventional ways. And I think that sometimes it's what like, and what uh, I'll share through my stories is that you'll be able to see that there are other options than our old ways of, of handling our common issues. And when you do something that's unconventional, you open yourself up to really remarkable results and really inspiring, inspiring life. And, and you, you really elevate your life in great ways by doing some things unconventionally. And so I'm going to be sharing fabulous stories, really inspiring stories of relatable um, things that have happened and how we've handled them in unconventional, uncommon ways and ended up with magic and, and a really beautiful um, family and life and um, great stories. Well, I'm very honored that you're going to be joining us. And um, one of the things I'm excited about is the first 100 ticket buyers will get a swag bag that's got um, a number of items in it, worth more than the ticket price for sure. But that also includes your book, An Unconventional Life. And I, uh, you didn't ask for this, but I said, hey, can we, after the event's over at nine o'clock, have you stick around to sign your book? You know, people that want to meet you and connect with you and, and get their book signed. So thanks for taking the time to do that afterwards. It should be fun. It's my pleasure and honor. And thank you for writing such a fabulous forward to an unconventional life. That you, I read it every time when I have an identity crisis. I'm like, who am I again? And what am I doing? <laughs> why should I get up and brush my teeth and do my hair and whatever? And I'm like, I read your intro and I'm like, Oh, thanks Dave for getting me and seeing me and, and then putting it out, out in the world so others can know and see too. And I can be reminded. So thank you. And I'm, I'm excited for to be with you and all these great ladies and every fabulous woman who's attending. We're going to have a really, really great time. Absolutely. All right. Well, so if you want to get tickets and I encourage you to do that because it is that swag bag for the first 100 ticket buyers, it's insporising.com slash live. And that's the link is in the description of this video. Everybody's welcome. Uh, men will be there too. Um, I, but, you know, because of my podcast is the way I say it, it's dedicated to inspiring women and the men who support them to rise up in their life, love and leadership. They'll probably be more ladies than guys, but everybody is welcome for sure. And it'll be in Orange County, California. And all the information is in the link. Uh, we even have one. I think Susan's watching right now on live. Susan Gorski. Uh, I've never met her in person, but we've connected a lot online. She's flying out from Florida just for that night. Isn't that crazy, Stacey? I love that. I loved hearing that and knowing that. Susan, I can't wait to see you and hug you in person because I feel like I've hugged you in my heart for uh, the last year. So I can't wait. Awesome. All right, guys, good to be with you today. And thanks for letting Stacy and I jump into your feed. If you're watching this on replay, even if you're not in um, Southern California, maybe tag somebody who is in Southern California that you think would enjoy coming to this event. Just put their name in the comments and tag them. And uh, perhaps they would like to join us. All right, you guys have an awesome day. Love you guys. Bye.